Hello folks, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be chatting about this. You have to bear with me because it's slightly heavy. Oh. The Commodore Amiga 500 Batman pack. Now this was released October 1989 and was the brainchild of Mr. Dave Pleasance. Originally, these Amigas, well, the Amiga 500s, retailed around about 499. He dropped the price to 399, and it, he decided to make a Batman pack, which essentially went on to become one of the best-selling computer bundles ever. So today's video is going to be just an unboxing. I paid, I think, around about a hundred pounds for this. I've had it in my possession for quite some time and it's not a pack that um I, i've been after it just it just it just happened to basically you know be there right place right time i collect amiga 1200 packs i have got virtually every pack apart from one which is avoiding me and has done for many years it's the i think it's an elite frontier elite two pack cannot get hold of it i just can't find it anywhere I've got desktop dynamite. I've got the two variants of the Race and Chase, Fast and Furious, Amiga Magic, Combat Pack, Comic Relief Pack. So I'm missing that one pack. So if anyone out there does have a pack, let me know. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I think I paid about £100 for it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Keep hold of it, sell it on or what. But it is kind of nice on display. So, today's video is just, as I said, just a little unboxing. Like I said, this thing is slightly heavy. It weighs in around about eight kilograms. And I was just got me thinking like, wow, you know, you, back in the day when you bought this, it must have been a real struggle walking through your town center or your shop to wherever you were going, like back the car or, you know, um, on the bus. Uh, it got me thinking as well about a little lockdown workout video with it. Hmm, I'm thinking because it's quite heavy. And it got me thinking. Hmm, yeah. Enjoy this little workout video. Did you not? That was hard work. Thanks, David. Cheers, Batman. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that fitness video, because I certainly did. Incidentally, if anyone does own one of these Batman packs and you are currently in lockdown and you can't leave your house or you're self-isolating or what have you, or you're vulnerable, by all means, have a little workout. Save going out for your hour a day exercise. Just stay indoors, get your Batman pack out. Get it on your back, do some sit-ups, happy days. I've just cracked the sweat, and I'm sure you will. Right, I'll give you a little guide of the box. It was sliced by the looks of it at some point, and has been sort of like, should we say, what's the word? Not stitched back together, but it's been put back together, albeit not really good. The top of the box, I'm not going to lie, has seen better days. The front of it's nice. But, you know, I suppose it must be expected for the age of these things. Anyway, we're going to whack this open and I'll show you what's inside. Right. Front sleeve off. What do we actually get in this pack? Well, first off, I can tell you, you don't get a joystick. Obviously, you get Batman. 
Deluxe Paint 2, F18, Interceptor, and New Zealand Story. Here's a little look at that patch up there. Yep. There we have the back, which is pretty much just the same as the front, only a bit more, a bit more context. Right, okay. Let's see what's inside. Right, in a box is actually quite nice. All the graphics are all nice and bright. Seems to be no fading. Let's whack it open. Handle still there, which is a good point. Right. Let's bring this camera over a bit closer. Right, first off, RF modulator. Slight bit of grubbiness to it, but I don't use it anyway, and I wouldn't use it. New Zealand story looks pretty mint. Two discs. Oh no, one disc. One disc, and there's the disc for the looks paint. That over there. F18. Interceptor or FA18 interceptor. Right, we have what looks like a code wheel, manual, usual warranty card, and the FA18. I can't say that properly. Interceptor disc. Also, the case looks like it's just come out the factory. Nice and shiny. No cracks. Next up, we have. A massive bag of silica gel. I mean, who doesn't like a nice big thick bag of silica gel? You have your modulator. Is it modulator and sound? I think, yeah. Left to right and then into the modulator and then out to the TV if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, don't use that. Power brick which I'm assuming is the fucking 60 watt mega massive, you know, Goliath of a power pack. That's why it's so heavy. We have a tank mouse, which the end of the wire doesn't look too good, but hey ho, here's what it is. What else we got in here? Yeah, it's got a plug on here, blah, blah, blah. Right, underneath the machine, we have Batman. Two discs, is it? Batman the movie? Yeah, sticker. And manual. Merry Christmas from Brewer's Fair. And what looks like someone's diagram on how to work this machine. Process card, check by such and such, pack by such and such. Hint request, don't know what that's off. Firebird. Elenic, Elenic, Elenic. Electronic art registration card. Deluxe paint two. Is that a warranty card? Commodore UK technical support, special notice, single drive Amiga users. The all important reminder, your disk drive is a cardboard head protector. Oh yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, while well, I was getting transported. Congratulations, you have just completed your first workout with the Amiga 500 Batman pack. No, it's not, it is on the purchase of your new computer. Happy computing Commodore Business Machines Limited. Deluxe Paint 2 manual. Very nice condition, apart from my sweaty fingers on the back. International Athletics card, I don't know what that's from. The A520 video adapter manual. A manual, enhancer software featuring Amiga DOS version 1.3, including Kickstart 1.3, Workbench 1.3, and Extras 1.3. Errata! Please ignore references to Kickstart Diskit on page 1.2 of the D-Paint manual and the command summary. Workbench disc playthrough. Amiga Basic is on double... 
can't move i can't read that one if not chapter seven works through anyway upgrade to deluxe paint three and save 45 pounds or nothing if your friend copies it for you firebird licenses registration card introduction to the commodore amiga 500 i'm assuming that's the main manual slightly heavy amiga basic microsoft basic for the amiga you can see it's pretty thick probably help contribute to the weight in this freaking motherfucker another waste of time notice after turning the computer off please wait 30 seconds before turning the computer back on again to ensure that all data in memory has been reset shorter reswitching intervals may bring up a guru message which may be reset by pressing the left mouse button we certainly know what that is last but not least an rf cable which obviously plugs into the modulator which then goes into the back of your tv or old cr tv just before i take you around the machine and if you're wondering where's the workbench discs yes i have got them somewhere um i used it for something a while ago to test something else out on a on, on another 500 i had um i have got them somewhere amongst all this crap so yeah they did come with it it is not bad condition uh, from what I can see and as you can see there there is some slight yellowing but in all honesty I'm not that bothered it is what it is I mean to be honest with you maybe I should get it out in a bit more natural light but as you can see the original colour of the keys and now the core of them actually looks if you can just see down there nice and clean doesn't seem to be any shite underneath them keys at some point i might open it up i might have a closer look inside right on the back we have made in hong kong model a500 any attempted repairs will avoid a warranty i don't think that that warranty seal has actually been broken it looks like it might have been pushed in at some point but i don't think looking at it it's actually being cracked open this so maybe at some point it's not a 500 plus so i'm not concerned about the battery leakage Let's see what's under that strap door, right? Tiny little expansion. 0.5 mega, I'm assuming. Yeah. I'll whack it on. And I'll give it a little test. Right, we're all hooked up. Power. RGB to SCART sound on. And there's that lovely 1.3 workbench screen. So I'm going to give it a quick test with the first game I can grab, which is New Zealand Story. That's loud. There we have it. Where's the volume control on me telly? Joystick down, like eh? okay. There goes the guitar. Right, 
does help if I get the right freaking port. Right. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh yeah, just as I remember it. And there she is, back in a box, back on display in all her glory. Underneath we have Amiga Magic. Underneath that one, Computer Combat. And underneath that one, we have the Comic Relief Pack. On the other side of the room, now bear in mind it's a little bit messy because I haven't cleaned this up properly. We've got the Wild, Weird and Wicked Pack. Desktop Dynamite, Fast and Furious, and Race and Chase, and the Amiga 1200 clear case box. And also, does anyone have the Back to Future advent calendar? That's what I've done with it. I do have a video on this channel, by all means go and check it out. The Back to the Future advent calendar by Playmobil. That is what you can do with it. After Christmas, can anyone spot the lemming in there somewhere? And just before I go, just in case anyone was wondering where the workbench discs were, there they are, in all their glory. Happy days. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again. Hello, sleepyhead. She too has just completed the Batman pack workout. I also have another cat here, just getting ready and preparing for his Batman pack workout. Aren't you, mate? Time for tuna. Hey, time for tuna fish. Time for tuna fish. Yeah, do you want some tuna? Little one. That's a camera, not food. Look, smell that. Mmm, nice. Nice, nice, nice.